Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. A bit foggy here today. Um, let's have just a quick update on the price action of Bitcoin. Uh, everything looks almost the same as yesterday, but the accumulation is getting stronger. So let's go to the charts. Okay, price to time model. Where are we right now? Uh, let me just focus here on the price. So basically we are still trading above the exponential line. Uh, if this blows up to the upside, I'm expecting a big correction coming. Um, we still don't have any signs that, uh, you know, a very, very big correction will occur. However, remembering what one of the actually one of the one of the let me check here who was that so there's this uh, follower of the channel uh, that said he's his name is Mindo Mindo maybe a French name I don't know if this is uh, pronounced correctly but he says but the price could also go above the exponential line just like in 2013 and following more significant correction exactly right so that's what i've been uh, saying since i published the price to time model um, uh, in january uh, early january this year and we are trading above the exponential line if you check the bull run of 2013 we started to trade above the exponential line we had a very very exponential rise of the price and then a 75 percent correction because the price was overextended above this uh, exponential curved line which is like the median of the price so if we continue like this and we have like a big exponential rise of the price uh, for example, if we go to 80, 100,000, maybe we will have a bigger correction than expected and then a second rise to the top. Uh, you know, getting very like the 2013 um, top uh, bull run, sorry. Okay, so the RSI is coming down so we are losing a bit of strength here but if the price explodes to the upside after this consolidation then i expect it to return to higher levels by the way well, people have also been discussing a lot about this speculation here um, Again, people, this is just a speculation. This is just uh, this was just to have some fun trying to guess what's going to happen in the future. So don't take this for granted. Actually, don't take anything for granted because uh, no one knows the future, and technical analysis just gives you probabilities of what might happen. It doesn't give you any certainties. Okay, so let's move on to the charts, uh, monthly chart on the MRI. Everything looks the same. The RSI, however, is showing a bit of declining. So it doesn't have the same strength as uh, the previous month. So it's just turning down a bit. And the MACD completely bullish. The blue line is getting away from the red line a lot. Uh, unfortunately, on the monthly uh, chart, the BitMEX funding rate is... Um, we had a big you know, glitch here in March last year, 2020. So this uh, makes the um, you know the chart of this indicator really stupid in the monthly because of that big you know um, bar here so it's not easy to read this uh, bitmax funding rate on the monthly chart okay so really quick let's go to the weekly chart the weekly chart is bullish we have a 
really big hammer here so this candle this candle here is turning into a hammer if we close the week tomorrow something like around this level this will be a really nice hammer very very bullish however we have a, an extension a uh, telling us that the price could go to the downside but however the candle right now is very very bullish so I continue to see so if if we continue to rise around here just like my previous video let me show you here we have so imagining this candle the current candle is going up today or tomorrow and closing the week uh, like a green hammer or even bigger I am seeing here e a bearish diversion on the price on the RSI and the weekly candles on the chart however the MACD is still very bullish bitmax funding rate still not easy to read because of that bar over there and this is the weekly chart so let's go to the daily chart the daily chart is whoa. so these these red lines here these are the levels i was talking about yesterday this uh, red line on the top is the 59 k price and this one is the 56 k price i was saying that if we continue to just go sideways inside these two lines i am very neutral however if the price action uh, crosses to the upside here on the 59k i will become bullish and if we break the all-time high i'm expecting prices around the 70 72k area or if the price action crosses to the downside on the 56k line then i'm expecting a formation of maybe a fourth range boundary inside this range that you see here which by the way you will you will see it on the next uh, chart um, the bearish divergence is here as you can see the line is exactly on top of that all-time high over there which was an MRI top on the daily and the bitmax funding rate is not so high on the daily but i'm expecting to see higher values on the hourly chart so let's move on to the four hour chart so this is the critical chart right now we have crossed the 59k line to the upside we had the green star which is a buy signal however the price has turned back down in this current candle so bitcoin is very indecisive right now um, i expect these uh, moving averages to help support the price for now and maybe push it to the upside really soon so don't forget that we are closing the week tomorrow and this would would become a very very bullish sign if we start monday i would not be surprised if on monday we are uh, testing new all-time highs with this you know this sideways action which is uh, creating very very nice consolidation at these levels uh, okay so the volume is going a bit to the downside uh, the RSI completely neutral the MACD also very very neutral we are approaching however on the bitmax funding rate here we are exactly crossing on the 4-hour chart we are crossing to above the 0 0.11 level so this is not very good for the bullish case however this consolidation it seems to me that is becoming very very strong and that could mean a push to the upside soon let's check the one hour chart on the mri just to confirm what levels we have on the bitmax funding rate so the bitmax funding rate is 
exactly at 0 0.11 which is my red level if we cross above the 0 0.11 that becomes my uh, bearish indicator on the hourly we had uh, one hour ago in the previous candle we had the MRI top for the hourly chart we are going back down now so let's see what happens if this uh, these moving averages support the price or not if they don't we might see lower prices being supported by the 200 or the 100 in this case the 100 is the red line the 200 is the purple uh, moving average we could see prices go back here so we have to wait we have to wait and see what happens but maybe we have a one to four candle correction for the next two three hours and let's see if the moving averages can hold the price so very quickly let's move on to the pro indicator strategy this is a four hour chart which i use very often with this indicator i was as I, as you know already i was expecting a fourth range boundary around the bottom part of this um, uh, channel here drawn in white the price however just went down to the middle of the channel then started to rise up again which is a very very bullish sign also so my entries for now are becoming less and less probable i don't know if we are going to come back to the 50 53 area again the trend channel is going up like crazy this red this sorry this green zigzag here uh, and this red zigzag here indicate the price is probably going to the upside so there's an uptrend there there's an uptrend here the context uh, the support context and the resistance context are also going up however However, we have a red line here indicating that this could be the next uh, point of, um, you know, retracement, reversal of the price action. So we might go up there to the 62 again, and we are going to find a lot of resistance. So let's see what the price action will do then the momentum indicator and the sine wave which is the white line here is coming back down as you see we have these red dots indicating also bullish uh, tendency so you know this is becoming very neutral so we have we have bearish indicators we have bullish uh, structures so it's not it's not easy to understand what's going to happen However, let me try to drop a Fibonacci here, see what happens. Where are we? Okay, we are about to cross over the red zone. So this will be again an area of interest but the price is so indecisive that we don't really know for sure if we are going to explode to the upside or if this is going to become very strong resistance again and probably send the price action back to the dump zone and there's a probability that we could stay here going sideways for some time until the momentum is right and the price goes to new all-time highs so uh, we are already 15 minutes into this video. Uh, I would finish for now. If something really extraordinary happens, I will come back. So let me just go back to the turn off the screen share. Okay, guys, so let's make this one a quick one. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Um, and for now, that's it. Just a quick update and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.